Hi, learn to read music in five minutes. Part one, I'm making this course for my sister who sings and plays ukulele but has not grasped all of the ins and outs of musical notation. In this lesson, we will discuss the staff and the piano as it relates to the staff. Now then, this is the treble clef. On this clef, you write high parts like soprano, alto, flute, high instruments like that. On your spaces, you have the notes F, A, C, and E. That spells face. Your lines are going to be E, G, B, D, and F. Every good boy does fine. Now then, your bass clef. This is where you're going to write your tenor, your bass, low instruments, tuba, etc. You'll see on your spaces you have A, C, E, and G. All cows eat grass. You can also say all cows emit gas. Then you have G, B, D, F, A. Good boys do fine always. All right, so every good boy does fine. Good boys do fine always. Now you'll notice that the bass clef is uh, just two, two below, right? So F-A-C-E, A-C-E, your F would then be down here. Um, so when you get used to that, that will help you distinguish between the two. Now, middle C, as you're looking at your piano, of course, the notes on your piano, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, you have A through G, A, C. On the middle of your piano where your logo is, that C right there, is called middle C. Now, on the treble clef staff, you'll see it on the first ledger line below the staff, that's middle C. Now, on the bass clef, that middle C is going to be the first ledger line above the staff. So both of these notes are the same note, and they are middle C. Now, uh, on the piano, you'll notice that you have black and white keys. The white keys are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So that's basically your C major scale is the white keys. You also have your black keys, but you'll notice that it's there isn't a black key between every white key. So the places where there is no black key in between are between B and C and E and F. So on your treble clef, that's here, the B and the C, and then the E and the F. And so the reason that's important to notice is that any other time, if you're in the key of C, and you go from like, you know, one uh, line to the next space or, you know, a space to the next line, it's going to be a whole step. But in those places, there will be a couple places where it's only a half step. So a whole step sounds like this. A half step sounds like this. So, and then going down, the whole step sounds like this. The half step sounds like this. So when you learn the difference between how a whole step and a half step sounds, that will help you in sight singing. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn about rhythms. So stay tuned for that. Hope this was helpful. See ya!